So I first came to Dubai um, originally in 2002. Um, I was a, as a, a guest of Emirates at the time because I was a journalist and they flew me out to experience the city. And I, I loved it so much that eventually I moved here. And for a long time I've been working in communications, um, but at the same time being doing adventure sports. And, and through that, that passion and the, the combination of the two came together and, and eventually we've kind of got to the point now where we set up the Arabian Ocean Rowing Team which you see behind us who this December are going to be rowing 5,000 kilometres across the Atlantic Ocean completely unsupported and um, which will take us about 40 to 60 days. I've always had a huge passion for the ocean and, and water, everything from windsurfing and, and, and kayaking right, right through to the bigger yachts and uh, adventures on that. So I think when it, whenever you're out in the water it's quite freeing, it's, it's lovely to be out in nature. I think one of the big things about, about being on boats, motorised or, or sailing, is, is the teamwork really that's involved. You know, yes you can take things out as an individual and, and, and navigate to one point to another, but inherently when it comes to, to, to super yachts, to yachts, to sailing boats, it's all about the team and it's about the camaraderie and that's something that particularly appeals to me. Dubai is a fantastic city. Um, you know, they talk about having 200 nationalities in, in one location, and, it, and it's quite true. It's also a wonderful hub from which to locate yourself, because within one flight you can be to two thirds of the world's population. So in 14 hours we're down in Melbourne, you know, I come back here seven hours to the UK, I can fly to LA, I can be in Shanghai. So actually from a, a business and leisure perspective, it's, it's a great location to, to base yourself from as an individual or as, as a family. I think you've, you've got something in the, in the kind of Arabian culture that's warm and hospitable, um, which you don't always find in other parts of the world. You know, particularly in the Western world, we're very cold, we're very focused, we're very professional. It's not that they're not professional here, of course they are, but they just do it with a touch of warmth that you don't see elsewhere. So actually, doing business locally is incredibly easy. And I think the thing that Dubai's done is it's learnt from other places around the world. You've got to think that um, Dubai, the UAE, is still in its infancy. It's, it's kind of 50 years or so old. And so as a consequence, it's been able to learn from countries around the world. You know, what did they do right? What did they perhaps or could they have done better? And they've got the best of that here. They've got the free zones. They've got the location set up for doing business. So let's say you're in the media industry. You've got, you know, Dubai Media City. You've got, you know, the pharmaceutical. In fact, the tech hub and the, and the growing part of Dubai's infrastructure is centered around tech, um, which means not only is doing business easy, but actually moving around is easy too. Every business relies on logistics or it relies on supplies in some capacity. And then the, the rules I talked about in terms of living here in that great geostrategic location applies from a logistics and a supplies perspective as well. Because frankly speaking, you know, I can, I can order something in the morning from Amazon and it could be here in the afternoon on the flight. And, it's, and, and from the suppliers, everyone seems to have a base here. You know, through to the big tech companies and um, to those based in the, the sailing and yachting industry. You know, certainly my boat, which you can see behind us, that was primarily built in Europe, but actually a lot of the equipment I've got to, to, to the finishing touches have been um, able to be procured here in the UAE because everyone's got a base here. I needed the experience of those that I work with to build this particular boat. So the team I used to build this Arabian Ocean rowing team was the def uh, boat was definitely the right team. What I think, in, and there's definitely plans to progress this, we will look to make the next boat, next ocean rowing boat here in the UAE. Dubai is always evolving. You know, they, they say the wind only blows forward here. Um, it's, it's constantly evolving and consequently from a, from a living perspective, um, it's been fabulous. You know, who would have thought Dubai would have over 200 kilometres of cycle lanes? You know, I can't cycle in the UK right now without fear of being run over. But here they've got dedicated cycle lanes where, you know, you, you can enjoy leisurely family rides. You've got running tracks. You've got locations for sailing, swimming, outdoor sports. So from a leisure perspective, Dubai in the last 12 years has evolved dramatically. But also from that business sense, as I talked earlier, you know, as Dubai looks around the world, it's, it's always saying, OK, what can we do better? How can we improve? And so it takes these ideas, it works with the people in these territories because it's got fantastic relationships globally. And then it brings those ideas back here and says, OK, wh what do we need and, and what's right for Dubai here and what's right for the people? And I have to say that the ruler, Sheikh Mohammed, has done a fantastic job. You know, when, he, when looking at what's right, it's not just that's an amazing bit of technology. 
well, that infrastructure is right there so it fits here it's a combination of, of that foresight to say okay this is really the cutting edge or this is where we need to be in five ten years time how does that apply here and how's that right for the people here which is wonderful you know this place survives on innovation it survives on tech and that's certainly what brings more and more people here every year and they're the prevalent industries